Hello everyone, I am Sergio, your host with Takeover Clock. Let's get into this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if the video helped you. Don't forget to give me a subscribe. It helps me, it makes me happy. Tears of joy come out of my eyes. Man, over dramatic. Let's get to this video now. Alright guys, well on my previous video I said that I wasn't getting post but then I was able to get post. You can watch the clip right here. I know for a fact since I am using a C170 motherboard I have to run a BIOS update. I see nothing on the screen so far so I am not getting a post. All right, what did I have to do to get my brand new motherboard never used before to work with the i5-7600K? Well, uh, the C170 motherboard, it's uh, Skylake and the, uh, the i5-7600K, it's KB Lake. Two different systems. Now, I'm going to tell you a story real quick. Back when I built my first computer, my personal computer, I got a C87 motherboard. And when I got my processor, I got the i7-4790. And that was supposed to be C97. See, back then I didn't know this thing. So I went ahead and I connected my, you know, I put in my CPU and into the C87 motherboard. And it boot up perfectly fine. Then I was able to do the BIOS update. This time with the Skylake motherboard, when I put in the CPU, I was getting no post. So I went online and I read some forums and it came down to the conclusion that I needed a Skylake CPU, either 7700K, I mean 6700K or a 6600K. So I went to the store and I picked up a i5-6600K. Now, um, I'm going to keep that CPU for my son's birthday. Uh, I'm going to build him in a Skylake uh, gaming PC for his birthday. So I'm going to keep it. But uh, after installing the 6600K to the Skylake motherboard, then I was able to boot up and I was able to go into the BIOS because before it would not go to the BIOS to try to update the BIOS. And that was... Uh, really sad and I said you know what dude I'm just going to run to the store <laughs> I went on Craigslist to see if anybody was selling one if they would let me use it for a minute and I checked up offer up and no no luck for me so I went to the store and I got like I said I got the 6600k put it in the system and I was able to boot up then I ran my BIOS update and without having the operating system in See, this right here, it's without having the operating system. When I downloaded the BIOS update, it asked me uh, what operating system was it for. So I put in Windows 10 because that is what I'm planning to use. I don't know if it makes any difference if I decide to install Windows 7 or Windows 8 as an example. But anyways, so I used the Windows 10 tab and then I went down and downloaded my BIOS update, installed it, removed the 6600K, Put in the 7600K and it boot up perfectly fine. But I want you to uh, see that I'm not lying to you. I just post right now. Okay, like I said, after a lot of uh, troubleshooting and a lot of research, I thought that, that I was going to be able to post normal and then do the update. I'm going to do the round down again. You need an i5. 6600k with your brand new motherboard to be able to run the BIOS update. Now, if you have an Skylake motherboard and you don't want to upgrade the motherboard but you want the i5-7600k, go ahead and run the latest BIOS update. I'm going to leave in the description a video where I show how to update your BIOS so you can go ahead and do that and then you can go get your i5-7600K if you want to upgrade to KB Lake and whatnot. So right now guys, my computer is working perfectly fine. Uh, the video after this one is going to be what I do after I hooked up everything. So stay tuned for that video guys. If you have any questions, any comments, go ahead and leave them down below. But have in mind one more time, 
if your motherboard has never been used before if it's a brand new motherboard and you went and bought the i5 7600k you have to activate and run an update using a 6600k that is the only way to do it with a brand new motherboard i'll repeat it again if it's a brand new motherboard you need to activate it and run a bios update with a 6600k or 6700k whatever and if you already have a 6600k in your computer you've been using it with it and you want to upgrade to kb lake go ahead and just run a bios update and you will be good to go all right guys this was your host sergio with tech overclocked i'll see you guys next time stay beautiful as always you guys are amazing